and welcome to the next lecture in electric circuit analysis we were discussing the three phase circuits and uh, there are different type of circuits for three phase connections we have discussed the introduction part we can have star star connection we can have star delta connection we can have the delta star connection and we can have the delta delta connection so these are the four different type of connections which are possible in three phase circuits and uh, we are going to discuss the four uh, types in details so first we will discuss the balance star star connection so when the source and the load are both connected in the form of a star what is the governing equations that we are going to discuss so source is connected in the form of a star and the load is also connected in the form of a star and this is a balanced system so we have discussed uh, this in the previous lecture that if the system is balanced or rather the source is balanced then the magnitude of all the three phases will be equal so we will have the equal magnitude of the voltage but with the phase difference of uh, we will be having uh, 0 degree minus 120 degree and you will be having plus 120 degree. so you can have 120 degree phase difference uh, between all the three phases whereas in case of the load the impedances magnitude as well as the phase will be equal so we have the source we have the load and between the source and the load we have the line so the line impedance is represented by ZL the line impedances are represented by ZL and the load impedance is represented with capital L that is capital Z and L source represented is represented by ZS then in that case the total impedance which is connected in the form of a star is given by sum of the source impedance the line impedance and the load impedance when connected in the form of single phase so the single phase equivalent of the three phase connections in the form of a star source and star load is given by ZS plus the line impedance plus the load impedance. Generally the source impedance and the line impedance are very small so we can say that the total impedance of the star connection is generally due to the load so we can have the star connected network of the impedance is equal to the load impedance given the fact that the source and the line impedances are small now we have discussed the phase sequence so phase sequence can be in the form of abc phase sequence or we can have acb phase sequence which is the positive phase sequence and negative phase sequence now considering that the system we are discussing is of positive phase sequence then the three phase voltages will have the same magnitude and it will have the phase difference of 120 degree considering that it is having ABC phase sequence. Now the current which are flowing through the line A, IA, IB and IC and there will be a neutral current IN which is flowing between the neutral wire of the source and the load. So the line to line voltage that is between two line A and B we can have the sum of the phase voltage of the A and the sum of the phase voltage of B. So BAB can be written as BAN plus BNB whereas we can have BAN with a minus sign of BBN. So opposite of BNB we can have minus BB. Now if we put the phasor format that is BAN equal to BP magnitude angle 0 and BBN is equal to BP angle minus 120 degree then we find that the line to line voltage VAB is basically root 3 times the phase voltage that is the magnitude with an angle of 30 degree. So it indicates uh, that the line voltage is root 3 times the phase voltage. So if we take the magnitude of the VAB that is the line voltage is basically root 3 times the phase voltage and if we talk about the angle then it is 30 degree ahead of the phase voltage. Similarly, if we compute the other line voltage VBC and VCA, we will get the same magnitude that is the root 3 times the phase voltage 
with a difference of the angle. So there will be a difference of the angle and we can say that the line voltage is root 3 times phase voltage whereas the phase voltages are equal because it is balanced. So A, B, C and phase uh, C phase will have equal uh, voltages whereas the line voltage will also be balanced. So B, A, B, 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 C and B, C, A will have the equal voltage and the relationship between phase voltage and line voltage is Vl is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. Now the reference phase A is 30 degree ahead of the phase voltage of A and then it will be having 120 degree phase difference between the other two phases. So the line voltage lead their corresponding phase voltage by 30 degree. So in the start star connection we have the line voltage magnitude is equal to root 3 times phase voltage and their angle is 30 degree ahead of the phase voltage. If we draw the phasor diagram of the three phases B, A, N, B, B, N and B, C, N. They are 120 degree uh, split to each other. Now, if we try to obtain the voltage B, A, B in terms of the phase, then it is 30 degree ahead of its respective phase A. So, we can say that the current I A is basically the current which is flowing uh, in the impedance Z Y and the voltage is V A N. So, V B we ha will have V B N by Z Y. So, it will have if we substitute V B N in terms of V A N and then we can find the current of the three phases I A, I B and I C. Now, if we add all the three currents I A, I B and I C, it will be equal to zero. It means the neutral current is basically zero for the balanced three phase system and the neutral voltage is some product of neutral impedance multiplied with its own current will be also zero. So there will be no voltage drop or the voltage across the neutral wire is zero and thus can be removed. So if we have a star connection and star connection source and load both are balanced and there is a neutral wire this neutral wire can be removed since there are no potential drop or no current in the neutral wire. Now when the system is balanced, the three phase system is balanced, then the three phase system can be analyzed in single phase equivalent. Then we can multiply that with three to get the three phase system. So we can do the analysis per phase basis where we have only one phase voltage VAN and only one phase impedance ZY and the current flowing is I. So the current IA is equal to Vn by Zy. Once we have found the current in one of the phases, the other phase current we can easily calculate in terms of the phase difference. Let us solve one problem. We need to calculate the line current in the three wire. So the source is balanced which is star connected and the load is also balanced which is star connected and we need to find what is the line current which is flowing in all the three wires. So the impedance ZY, we have to obtain that, that is the impedance of the source plus line plus load. Here the impedance of the source is not given, we have been given the impedance of the line and the impedance of the load that we are adding up to find the total impedance of the star connected system. The current which is flowing in the line A, IA is basically the potential divided by the impedance of the phases and we will get 6.81 angle minus 21.8 degree as the ampere current which is flowing in IE. Now once we have found the current IA, IB and IC current, the magnitude will be equal with the phase difference of 120 degree with respect to phase A. So we can get the value of IB and IC when the system is star star connected and it is a balanced system. Next system we are going to take the star delta system means the source is star connected and the load is delta connected and the system is balanced. So here we take the source to be star and the load to be in the delta and both are balanced. So if we have the ABC phase sequence then we can write the source voltage of all the three phases and the line voltages we know that it is the root 3 times the phase voltage and there is an angle difference of 30 degree with respect to its own phase 
this we have already got it in the star connected system. Now we can find what is the current which is flowing between the lines AB that is the voltage AB divided by its the impedance of the delta connected system. Similarly, the current flowing in BC and CA can be find out with respect to its own line voltage divided by the impedance and we can apply the KVL equation to find the current which is flowing in the loop. So we have the minus Vn, so here we have the potential of Vn phase and then we have the drop in the delta connected system Z delta and we have Vvn the next phase. So we can apply the KVL equation in this particular loop. Once we apply the KVL equation in this particular loop and then we can get what is the magnitude of the current IAB. So from this equation we can get what is the value of IAB which we can write in the form of potential divided by the impedance. Now for the potential we have the same potential because it is a star connected system and the current IA, IB and IC we can uh, find out as applying the KCL equation at the node. So we can apply the KCL equation at the node, the current IA is entering the node and there are two currents IAB and ICA which are associated with this particular node. Similarly at this node the KCL equation and at this node the KCL equation has to be applied and then we can find what is the current IA, IB and IC relationship with respect to the current. Now we know that the current ICA is equal to IAB with an angle of minus 240 degree. Then the current IA is equal to IAB minus ICA. ICA can be written in terms of IAB and then we can find what is the current IA which is equal to IAB root 3 angle minus 30 degree. This uh, suggests that the line current is basically root 3 times the phase current whereas the line current and phase current both are balanced having the equal magnitude in all the three phases and the line and we can have there is a 30 degree phase difference. We can see there is a 30 degree phase difference which is lagging and uh, we can represent that in terms of the phasor diagram with respect to the line and the phase current and we can also analyze it with respect to per phase basis. So Vn is the per phase equivalent voltage and here we will be having the impedance as Z delta that is the impedance of one phase and that we can convert it into star format. So star will have delta divided by 3. So we are dividing Z delta divided by 3 and the current which is flowing in one phase is IA. So when we have a star delta connected system it is better that the delta connected load is connected to is converted to its equivalent star connected load system. Then we can obtain the per phase equivalent network and do the analysis. Let us take one problem. A balanced ABC sequence star connected source with a given magnitude of VAN is equal to 100 angle 10 is connected to a delta connected balance load of impedance 8 plus J4 per phase. Determine the phase and the line current. So we have the star connected source and we have have delta connected load. So we need to obtain the phase current and the line current. We will apply two different methods to solve this problem. Method 1, first we calculate what is the delta connected impedance. So delta connected impedance is already given 8 plus J4. We convert that into polar coordinates. Uh, then we have 8.94 angle and 26.57. Now the phase voltage of one of the phases is given so other phases or the line we can obtain. So VAB that is the line voltage is root 3 times the phase voltage 30 degree ahead. So here already 10 degrees there so we will be having total angle 40 degree and magnitude will be 100 root 3 because the phase voltage is 100. So we have obtained what is the line voltage between the two phases VAB. Once we have found out the line voltage the phase current IAB is line voltage divided by the impedance. Similarly, IBC and ICA can be obtained once IAB has been formed because they will have a phase difference of 120 degree with the same magnitude. So 19.36 angle 13.43 is the phase. So magnitude remains the same 19.36 
and there is a phase difference of minus 120 degree here and it will have plus 120 degree. So in this way we can obtain the line uh, phase currents and the line currents are basically having the magnitude root 3 times the uh, phase currents with angle, angle of minus 30 degree. So once we found the IA, IB and IC we can find out because the magnitude will remain the same but there will be an angle difference of 120 degree. So in this way we can find out the phase current and the line current with the method 1. Alternatively in method 2 the analysis has to be done in the single phase analysis. So what we do is that we have Z delta we convert that into Z star. So star is equal to delta by 3 and the current IA is equal to the potential VAN divided by the equivalent star. Now once we have found out what is the current IA other phase current and line current we can easily find out knowing that that is a ABC phase sequence. So we can apply any of the two method to solve the problem. Now the third system is delta delta connected system. So source is delta connected, load is delta connected and the system is balanced. So we will draw the circuit. Here we have the source which is delta connected and the load which is also delta connected. So we can write in terms of ABC phase sequence VAB, VBC and VCA uh, voltage then we can obtain what is the corresponding uh, phase voltage that is VAB, VBC and VCA which is equal to VAB that is between the two phases the voltage or the line voltage. We need to obtain the current IAB. IAB current is potential divided by its corresponding impedance IBC and ICA and then the current IA what is the current flowing applying the KCL at these three particular nodes. So we can apply the KCL equation to write down the equation of the current IA, IB and IC. Once we have done do this, then uh, from the previous knowledge of the star delta connection, we can find out that line current is root 3 times the phase current and the line current will lag the corresponding phase current by 30 degrees. This we have already seen when the system is star delta connected system. So here also we have delta connected system then it is possible to find the same thing. Let us take one problem. If you have a balanced delta connected load having the impedance of 20 minus J15 ohm connected to a delta connected uh, load, positive sequence generator having the voltage 330 angle 0. So the source is delta connected, load is delta connected. We need to obtain the phase current of the load and the line current. So once we have know the circuit, it is possible to find out the currents. So the impedance of the delta connected is already given and we need to obtain the phase current from the corresponding voltage divided by the impedance. Once we have found out one of the current then other phase currents we can easily obtain because they are only 120 degree phase difference with respect to the phase current of A. We have the phase sequence ABC. So first we will find the A phase, then B phase and then C phase. The line current we can find out when we know the phase current. So the line current will be root 3 times the phase current magnitude and there will be an angle difference of minus 30 degree because it is lagging the phase current. So once we found out the phase cur line current of A, other line current IB and IC we can find out because they will be having a phase difference of minus 120 degree and plus 120 degree. Magnitude remains the same. So same magnitude while the angle difference will be 120 degree. Now we have the delta star connected network which is the opposite of the previous discussion. The source is delta connected whereas the load is star connected. So here we take the delta connected source and we have the star connected load then we can write in terms of the ABC phase sequence the voltage which is having the same magnitude and 120 degree phase difference we can apply the KVL equation in this particular loop we can once we have written the KVL equation in this particular loop we can find out what is the corresponding current of the phase A so the current of phase A we can find out after these intermediate steps that is 
obeying the KVL equation and the KCL equation, we find out that the voltage Vp by root 3 we are dividing it and there is an angle difference of minus 30 degree divided by its impedance. The purpose is to find only one phase current, other phase current IB and IC can be easily found out with 120 degree phase difference. So here if we need to do the analysis per phase basis, so we see that the load is star connected ZY whereas the source being the delta connected that we will be obtaining per phase basis as the voltage will be divided by root 3 with an angle of minus 30 degree. Generally the three phase balance system are solved per phase basis. So it is better to obtain the per phase equivalent net. Now let us do the summary of what we have discussed. So assuming that the phase sequence is ABC for all the cases, if we have a star star connected system that is the source is star connected and the load is star connected then the relationship between the phase quantities and the line quantities that is the voltage and the current. So the voltage of all the three phases will have the same magnitude with an angle of 120 degree difference and the line voltage will be root 3 times the phase voltage and the angle difference will be 30 degree with respect to its corresponding phase. So here the phase current and line current will be same and the line current IA, IB and IC will be obtained from the corresponding impedances. So if we know the voltage, we can divide with the impedance to get the current, line current of A and other currents will be 120 degree apart. Similarly, if we have a star delta connected network, the phase sequence is ABC. So the voltage is already obtained and here the line voltage is root 3 times the phase voltage with 30 degree ahead. And here we need to find what is the phase current and what is the line current. So phase current can be obtained from its equivalent voltage divided by the impedance. And the line current will be root 3 times the phase current with an angle of 30 degree lagging. And other currents will be with respect to the phase A 120 degree phase difference considering ABC phase sequence. Now if we have the delta delta connected system. Considering the ABC phase sequence, we have obtained the phase voltages. Line voltage will be same as the phase voltage and the line phase current will be equal to the phase voltage divided by the impedances and the line current will be root 3 times the phase current with an angle of minus 30 degree for one of the line and other two lines will have 120 degree phase difference with respect to the phasing. Now the final connection, we can have delta star connection where we will be having the phase voltage as the ABC phase sequence and the line voltage will be same as phase voltage, line current will be same as the phase current and the current will be can be obtained by dividing the voltage with root 3 and with a 30 degree phase difference. So here other phases will have 120, other line will have 120 degree phase difference. So we remember these uh, relationship between the phase quantities and line quantities, then we can solve any type of problem whether the source is star connected and the load is delta connected or we have delta delta connection, star delta or delta star connection. So this uh, is the second part of the three phase circuit. Other two parts are power in the balance circuit and then finally we will discuss the unbalanced system also as the last part.